Okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, this session we uh, will discuss stiffness method. Okay, I have chosen uh, BIM eh. BIM, so we will try one, uh, try to do one uh, solution for BIM with uh, support settlement. Okay, using, using stiffness method. Okay. So under stiffness method, we will have Okay, it is a, a continuous beam Okay, so let's say fix, fix So we have two roller. Okay, label as A, B, C, and D. Okay, so it has UDL. So we have from A to B, from B to C, from C to D. Okay, so UDL 15 kilo newton per meter. A to B, 5 meter. B to C, 5 meter. C to D, also 5 meter, for example. Okay, and we have B to C, which is equal to 2 EI. This is 2 EI. AB is EI. CD also EI. Okay. So, it is just conventional beam, right? Okay, where we can also analyze this using moment distribution method. Okay, of course, this beam, we if we, if we use to solve by using flexibility method, we will have more unknown, unknown, uh, more redundant. But when we choose, when we choose to solve using stiffness method, because the first objective, the first output, when we analyze a structure using stiffness method is the deflection or displacement or rotation. Okay, it is a displacement. Okay, so the first output from stiffness method is displacement. And after that, uh, using the displacement, we will solve for the, for the reaction at the support. Reaction at the support. So using stiffness method, we will have two degree of freedom per node. Two degree of freedom per node. To, it is 2 degree of freedom per node. So, you must remember when we have this, okay, let's say we are going to analyze uh, support D, eh? support D 5 mm, support settlement. Okay, so degree of freedom in stiffness method, okay, we have to identify the total degree of freedom because it will give us the size of the stiffness matrix. It means that if we have two degree of freedom per node, and this is beam, beam, we have to consider in Y and Z component, and it must be in, in these two direction, Y and Z, okay? Y and Z component. So this is two degree of freedom per node, 2 degree of freedom per node in y and z direction. Means that we don't have to count 
the horizontal forces or horizontal uh, deflection in beam because we already know that the value will be zero. Okay, so what is the first step? What is the first step? Normally, I will sketch the degree of freedom according to unconstrained and constrained. Unconstrained and constrained. Okay, this is to guide us to the to to actually rearrange the numbering. Okay, so we sketch this first. Okay, you just need to sketch. Okay, one line for one is for unconstrained and another one for constrained. Okay, so normally, normally I will draw the unconstrained first because we will label the unconstrained first. Okay, so we have unconstrained and constrained. This actually refers to the support condition. Support condition, eh? It is referring to support condition. Okay. And you have to understand that under constraint, under constraint, there is no displacement unless the support settlement is given. Okay, under constraint, under constraint, displacement equivalent to zero unless support settlement is given. Okay, displacement is zero. Because at support, there is no displacement, no movement. Okay, so uh, okay now from the diagram we identify first unknown reaction, unknown reaction using conventional way. Conventional way at A we have one, two, three. This is conventional free body diagram, right? At fix there are three conventional. Okay, at B we have BY, right? BY. So we put BY. At C, we have CY. We put CY. Conventional. Free body diagram. Okay. At A, we have fixed. We have three. Unknown reaction. Okay. And at D, we have fixed. So one, two, and three. Okay. That is conventional way. We draw the free body diagram. So, so the free body diagram too, referring to the to the reaction, reaction, right? At each support. Okay. The unknown reaction is actually the the constraint, the constraint. So uh, based on the the arrow line tu, referring to the unknown reaction, okay, kita akan change, uh, transform jadi degree of freedom in constraint system, okay. And we have to ignore the the x component. Means that means that yang ni ignore, yang ni ignore. X kan, kita ignore. Okay, now. You have to to transfer the information. Means that the cut A ada two. At A there are two unknown reaction. So put two DOF in constraint system. Tapi kena ingat you must follow this. You must follow this sign. Because the formula that we are going to use to analyze the stiffness fact, stiffness matrix, okay, based on this this sign convention. So, tak boleh tukarlah this sign convention. Even though masa you label yang kat atas tu, you can label it in any direction kan, like previous. But uh, for the degree of freedom, so we must follow Y and Z direction as given in appendix. Okay, dekat B, we have another one here. At C also here. And at D, we have Y and Z. Okay, so labeling ni must be correct. You must use the correct correct direction. Okay, you cannot simply change the, the direction. Okay, it means that there are six degree of freedom in constraint system. Six degree of freedom in constraint system. Okay, and this six representing unknown reaction. Okay, six. So we have six here. Six degree of freedom. Okay, six degree of freedom. Total, we should have eight because there are A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, we have four, right? Four times two. Total must be eight. So after we identify that under constraint system, we have six degree of freedom. So we know that we have remaining two in unconstrained. We have remaining two in unconstrained. 
So what you need to do is you have to to put two DOF to complete each node. To complete each node. So we have we have uh, we have uh, uh, Z. Eh? We have Z at B. We have Z at C. Okay, we have Z at B, we have Z at C. So, by putting this, we get total, total 8. So, here we have 2 degree of freedom. Okay, so under unconstrained, there are 2 degree of freedom. And this 2 degree of freedom is actually referring to 2 unknown displacement. These 2, okay, these 2 degree of freedom... This 2 degree of freedom is actually referring to what? Referring to 2 unknown displacement. 2 unknown displacement, DU. Referring to 2 unknown displacement in unconstrained system. And for constraint, we have, for constraint, we have, we have 6 unknown reaction. Unknown reaction. We have six unknown reaction. So unknown displacement, unknown displacement, okay, so these two unknown displacement and two unknown reaction, okay, we label first. So we will start labeling first, okay, we will label as one and two, okay, one and two. Then only we continue 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So continue 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So we must have 8 because we have 3, uh, 4 nodes. Okay. So, so this 8 we have to divide into unconstrained and constrained system. Under unconstrained. There are unknown displacement under constraint system. There are unknown reaction. Okay, so we have label one two under unconstrained system, and there are six. Okay, six label from three to eight under constraint system. So what does it mean? What does it mean? So we have one and two in unconstrained. Means that we have D1 and D2, we have Q1 and Q2, okay? So you have to refer to video previously I made under this topic where I mentioned every every single detail about what is Q1, Q2, until Q8, everyone, okay? So, so we have 1, 2, 1, 2. If we relate to this, it means that we have D1 and D2. We have D1 and D2, so... We will have D1, D2 as unknown. So this is unknown displacement. Okay, unknown displacement as the first objective. So we will calculate this first. Okay, so under the second objective, we will calculate Q. We calculate 6Q, right? Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7, Q8. Okay, all this is unknown reaction. Unknown reaction. Unknown reaction is Q, U, unknown. Q, unknown, unknown displacement is D, U, D, uh, D, unknown. Okay, so, so these are... The, uh, the the objective. So we have two objectives. In BIM, we have two objectives. Objective number one, to calculate unknown displacement. So this unknown displacement is, is sometimes called as, called as non-zero DOF. Okay, this is also the same meaning. Okay, it is actually equivalent to unknown displacement. Even though the term is non-zero degree of freedom. Okay? Okay, so this, this are the objective. Objective number two, we have to calculate reaction. 
Okay, so we will use the unknown displacement in order to calculate the unknown reaction using what we call as uh, the stiffness equation. The stiffness equation, we will calculate all the output using stiffness equation. And stiffness equation is Q is equal to KD plus Q0. It's Q, this is Q. Q is equal to KD plus Q0. This is the stiffness equation. This is the stiffness equation or the force displacement equation. Force displacement equation. Okay, so this is the thing that you should understand lah. Okay, for beam, you don't have to label the coordinate. Trust, you have to label coordinate beam because beam has same local and global coordinate uh, system. So, we don't have to label the coordinate. Okay, okay, now we have three member. We have member number one or element number one. We have element number two here. We have element number three element number one element number two element number three so what does it mean it means that we will produce k1 k2 k3 k1 okay we will produce k1 in terms of ei okay so it is four by four matrix it is four by four matrix so Inside this, you have to refer to the formula. But what most important is how you label this stiffness matrix. Okay, we should label this. Okay, we should label this by looking at the degree of freedom start from near end to far end. Means that, means that for element number one or member number one. Okay, kita draw separately kat sini. Okay, member number one, dia macam ni. Okay, this is near, this is far. Okay, this is element number one. Okay, and the label that we use for Y, Z, Y, Z, the arrow is always in right direction. Okay, so, so N is not number one. F is not number 2. Okay, so at 1, at 1, it is 3, 4. It is 3, 4. Why is that? You don't spell 4 dulu. Kalau kalau you, you label 4 dekat 3, kalau sini yang you label 4, so then you, label, you akan sebut 4, 3. Kita akan always spell, okay, 3, 4 because why is that? Kita label Y, Z, Y, Z. Okay, so here we have to label as 3, 4. So, ini 3, 4. 3, 4. Okay, and for F, for F it is 5. Nampak tak ni? 5, 1. 5, 1. Y, Z, 5, 1. Okay, so yang ni jadi 5, 1. Okay, so we should label the stiffness metric, the degree of freedom under K1 as 3, 4, 5, 1. 3, 4, 5, 1. Okay, so I don't want to calculate the value inside. Okay, refer to the formula. So the because the most important thing is the label. 3, 4, 5, 1. Of course, you will get the same value because we we use the same value for A, B and C, D because the length is same. Except length for B, C, we, I have put 2 E, I, right? So means you have to time by 2. Okay. So this is the label. So ni penting eh. Label ni. Label ni. is very, very important. Because if you put wrong label, you will get wrong answer. Straight away, dapat terus displacement yang you calculate ke, Q ke, so everything wrong. Okay, because labeling is very important. Okay, so so you have to calculate K1, K2. EI, 
4 by 4. Okay, 4 by 4. Okay, so for element number 2, for element number 2, we have, we have node number, we have node number 2. Note number 3. Okay, note number 2, note number 3, arrow. So we know that, we know that this is near, this is far. Okay, and the label, the, the degree of freedom label, YZ, YZ. So we label this 5, 1, 6, 2. 5, 1, 6, 2 kat sini. Sini 6, 6 and 2. Okay, 5, 1, 6, 2. So we label 5, 1, 6, 2. 5, 5, 1, 6, 2. 5, 1, 6, 2. Okay, you must label it correctly. Okay, okay. So, next is K3. Next is K3. K3. Okay, EI. Okay, we draw the element. So, it is 3 to 4. Eh? 3 to 4 means this is near, this is far. Okay, arrow is like this. Okay, and we have a degree of freedom. Must be in this two, in this two direction. Okay, it is 6 to. It is 6 to. 6 to. 7, 8, right? 6 to 7, 8. 7, 8. Why is that? 7, 8, eh? At not number at D at D seven eight so we have seven eight here so this is seven and eight so we will label K three K three as as six two seven eight six six two seven eight. 6, 2, 7, 8. 6, 2, 7, 8. Okay. Clear? Okay, wait. So, we calculate the K. Okay, ada soalan tak? Yang ni actually senang. Tapi ramai yang 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 tak study lah. Okay. Jadi label pun dah salah. So bila label salah, dia akan affect the whole lah. Boleh tapi still kena kena divide into two. Unconstrained, constrained. Uh, boleh je dia hanya position only. Kan cuma kalau kalau ikut flow, kalau x, y, x, y dulu. X, y lah kan. Kita jalan letak y, x. X, y lah. Tapi dia position only. Maksudnya kalau 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 you dengan siapa nama? Ainin. Ainin dengan Mirza nak letak uh, label uh, satu belah satu seorang letak satu belah kanan. Seorang letak satu belah kiri kan? Boleh tak boleh je position tu berubah tempat lah. Everything akan berubah tempat. Okay. Tak boleh. Tak boleh. Bukan tak boleh. Sebenarnya macam kita kan follow uh, follow textbook. Kan so yang textbook yang kita yang kita follow tu kita follow tu uh, dia suggest untuk kita label dulu 
uh, unconstrained sebab pada unconstrained ada unknown displacement and unknown displacement tu yang kita identify dulu. Kalau you label constraint dulu, you akan identify 78 dulu. Kan? Kalau kita label unconstrained, uh, kalau kita label terbalik. Bila kita label label ikut urutan tu, unconstrained baru constraint kan? Kan satu dua tu duduk dekat unconstrained. Kalau you label terbalik, dia akan jadi 78 kan? So you akan cari 78 dululah. Dia tak salah cuma dia tak ikut flow lah macam pelik. Nanti tu cari dulu 78 baru cari 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Itu je. Position only. So that is why kita, dia suggest kita label dulu unconstrained sebabnya uh, sebab mana dia ni? Okay. So memang memang uh, he blur suggest macam tu sebab output uh, output kita the first output is is uh, unknown displacement. Kan? So label dulu unknown displacement. So kita dapatlah D1, D2. Kalau you cari label terbalik you akan dapat D7, D8. Itu je beza dia. Okay. Sebab tak pakai wifi kan. So file tak boleh buka. Dia sebab semua simpan dalam cloud. Okay. So can you please calculate the value? The value. So refer to appendix. Stack, uh, this is past year's paper. Okay. Uh, the formula. Okay, this is the formula. So I copy this first. Back to this. Mana tadi? Ni. Okay. Okay, this is the formula. Okay, please calculate. Okay. 12 EI over L. L kita 5 kan tadi kan? L kita 5. So, 12 divided by 5, 5 uh, ketiga eh. EI. So, EI kita dah tulis kat luar ni kan? So, what is the value? For K1. What is the value for K1? What is the value for K1? Kosong point? 096. 0.096. So yang ni? Okay. 0.096. Okay. And then 6. And then 6 divided by L square. Kosong point? So 0.24. After that, negative. 0.096 eh. And then, ujung tu apa? 0.24. 0.24. Okay. 3451. Lepas tu, you tak payah tulis value dekat sini. Kosongkan je. Because it is symmetry matrix. So you just find the value for 44 ni. Dekat sini cari. Okay. So using the formula value kat situ. Yang ni. Okay. 4 divided by L 0.8 ya. Eh? Okay. This is 0.8. So sini 0.8. Oh sikit. Okay, this is 0 0.8. Okay, next value. Okay, 4 divided by L lagi. 0, eh, uh, 4. 6 divided by L, L square. Negative 0 0.24, right? Okay, ni negative 0 0.24. Negative 0 0.24. And after that, 2 divided by L. 0.4. 0.4 kan? Okay, this is 0.4. Okay. Next, okay, find value for 55. 
Okay, so uh, at position 5, 5 tu looking at the formula yang ni. Kan, sama macam yang the first value tadi kan. It is positive. It is positive 0 0.096 eh. So this is 0 0.096. Okay, 0 0.096. And apa ni? Negative. Negative 0 0.24. Negative 0 0.24 and last value 4 divided by L. 0 0.8. 0 0.8. So ni 0 0.8. Okay. So yang ni lah. So this is K1. This is K1. Okay K1. Okay this is also K3 right? This is also K3. K3 also have the same value. Sekejap kita ambil ni. K3. Okay, this is K3. K2 you have to time by 2 lah. 0 0.096 times 2 berapa? 0 0.096 times 2. 0 0.192. Okay next value 0 0.24, 0 0.48. Okay next value negative. Negative 0 0.192. Okay next value 0 0.48. Okay. Okay, next value 0 point, uh, 0 0.8, 1 point, 1.6. Okay, next value uh, negative 0 0.48. Okay, next value 0 point, 0 0.8. Okay, next value 0 point, 0 0.192. Next value negative 0 0.48. Negative 0 0.48. This is 8. 8. Okay. And 1.6. 1.6. Okay. So, siaplah. So, this is element global stiffness matrices. Element global stiffness matrices. Okay. So, normally soalan dia akan tanyalah. Uh, establish element global stiffness matrices. Okay. Now. We will, uh, we will calculate. Okay, kalau soalan dia memang sebut clearly, clearly dia sebut macam ni. Establish, establish uh, structure stiffness matrix or establish the stiffness matrix for the beam. Okay, then only you bagi 8 kali 8 tu. 8 kali 8. Yang ni kan, 8 kali 8 kan. So if if in the question, memang ada statement tu. Establish structure stiffness matrix or establish the stiffness matrix for the beam. Then only you have to produce in full. 8 by 8. <coughs> but if, if, if not, so you can actually jump to the, the stiffness equation or force displacement equation. Okay, kalau soalan tu kan, dia just <coughs> dalam soalan tu dia just kata calculate unknown displacement, calculate unknown displacement, calculate unknown reaction. Dia tak sebut tentang matrix berapa semua kan, so you tak payah tunjuk. Tak payah tunjuk. Macam yang ni, yang ni memang you, yang ni compulsory buat. K1, K2, K3 compulsory step. You tak boleh, uh, you tak boleh tak bagi. You have to bagi benda ni. K1, K2, K3 compulsory step. But K besar tu, K besar tu is not compulsory. Kalau tak mention dalam question, you tak payah pergi kira 8 kali 8 tu. Kan? Sebab kalau you kira 8 kali 8 tu, you akan wasting time. Okay? Sebab kita punya aim is to calculate unknown displacement. Okay, so we use Stiffness equation, okay not yet, not yet. So lepas ni kita akan pakai this equation, 
Kan? This is the stiffness equation, right? Okay, this is the stiffness equation. And under beam, we have to solve this first. What is Q0? It is equivalent nodal forces, which we get from UDL tadi tu. UDL. Tadi ada UDL, right? Okay, bila ada UDL, so in this question, bila ada UDL, bila ada point load, which is subjected on the member, ataupun along the member, you have to calculate equivalent nodal forces. Okay, yang mana yang subjected directly at node, contoh dekat, dekat truss kan ada point load dekat join kan? Dekat truss. Truss kan ada point load dekat join. Yang tu Q. Tapi pada beam, jarang kita ada Q except kalau ada moment, external moment. In this case, tak ada moment. So kat sini, we have to calculate Q not for member BC. Use fixed end reaction of fixed end moment formula macam hari tu. Okay, so we have to analyze B eh. Yeah? We have to analyze, analyze BC. So we have to analyze. Okay, analyze BC eh. Yeah? BC. Okay, is it, it is fixed fixed. So it is UDL. Tadi berapa? 15 eh? 15. So 5 meter. Okay. So reaction towards this. Okay, we have moment acting. Okay, like this. And vertical forces going up to, to balance the 15 UDL to right. Okay, now calculate the reaction. Calculate the reaction. So we will get 15 times 5 divided by 2. It is WL over 2. Kita nak balance kan 15 tu. The 15 UDL tu. It is UDL. Kena kali dengan length right? Okay. It is 15 times 5 divided by 2. Dapat apa ni? Is it 75 divided by 2? 37.5. 37.5. So this is 37.5. 37.5. This is the vertical reaction. The vertical reaction. Okay. Clear? Okay. okay. Calculate now fixed end moment. WL square over 12. WL square over 12. 15 times 5 square divided by 12. What do you get? Thirty one point two five, thirty one point two five. Okay, so after we have calculate, we have calculated this. So this is actually equivalent equivalent element nodal forces means that we we distribute loading to join because everything dalam stiffness method kita akan always calculate displacement at join, reaction at join. Kan? So you just you just imagine like this. Member cannot carry load. So we have to distribute to join. Okay. So how to distribute it? We use we use uh, fixed end reaction. Okay. So so this is based on the formula fixed end moment, right? Fixed end moment. So now we want to lab, we want to produce. So this is element number two. So this is element number. This is element number two. And under element number two, kita punya label yang kita dah label awal-awal tadi apa? This is for element number two. It is 5162, right? 5162. 5162. So, so, so we will produce Q. Q. Q kecil eh. Q kecil sebab dia for element lagi. So Q element number two right? Not is symbol for for equivalent equivalent nodal forces. Okay, and so we will produce in matrix label dia sama macam kita label K two, which is five one six two. Okay, sini five one six two. Ambil balik labeling pada K letak dekat sini. Okay, so kita kena cari nilai at position 1, at position 5, position 1, position 6, position 2. Okay, so look at the diagram. 
Compare with sign convention. Atas diagram, right? Dah ada all the reaction, right? Bawah sign convention. Okay, now. The first value means that you kena tengok lah sini. Uh, position 5. Mana 5? Sini 5, right? So, what is the value representing 5 dalam diagram atas tu? 37.5. So, it is 37.5. Okay. Okay. One. Thirty-one point two five. Six. Thirty-seven point five two. Negative thirty-one point two five. Okay. So this is Q two not. Actually, we have Q one not Q three not. Tapi value dia all zero. Okay. We have Q one not. Which the value all zero because there is no uh, no loading on member. Q3 not is also zero. So label pada Q not ni dia akan always sama macam kita label K. So dekat K kita label uh, apa tu 3, 4 eh. Tadi 3, 4, 5, 1 kan. And then pada 3 kita label as 6, 2, 7, 8. Okay, so ada semua except except uh, element 1 and element 3 tak ada loading on member kan. So, dia jadi 0. So, Q2 not sebab at element element 2, so dia ada UDL. So, bila ada UDL, dia akan ada reaction. Dia akan ada reaction. Okay, in Y and Z. Okay, so kita kena calculate lah. This is Q2 not. So semua ni akan kita combine jadi Q besar lah. Kita combine dia akan jadi Q not which is equal to Q1 not plus Q2 not plus Q3 not. Sama macam kita combine K which is K1 plus K2 plus K3. Okay. Okay. So now kita nak jump to the equation to solve for the unknown displacement to solve for the unknown displacement okay to solve for the unknown displacement okay we have okay support settlement at d 5 mm so look at d look at d so dekat d ni Yang ni kan delta ni dia refer pada this vertical. Vertical direction. So label apa yang kita pakai dekat D representing the same direction tu. It, it is 7. It is 7. Means that D7 equivalent to negative 0 0.005 meter. 35 mm kan. So yang ni yang you have to include bila ada support settlement. Support settlement. Okay. Because kita ada D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8. But D7, D7 is now equivalent to negative 0 0.005 meter. So in conclusion sebab kita dah pukul 12. So what you need to do after this. Okay, is yang ni. Okay. Anyway, dia akan depend pada question eh. Pada, uh, depend pada question. So, please try to understand question. Okay. Dalam exam, bila stiffness method, you kena betul-betul faham question. You jangan buat benda yang question tak minta. Sebab bila you buat everything, you tak ada masa nak siapkan. Okay, sebab kadang-kadang dia tak minta full K, kadang-kadang dia tak minta full, full Q not. Tapi uh, tapi bila you uh, hafal everything, you akan buat semua everything and you akan wasting time tak sempat siapkan. So, tengok pada soalan. So, kalau soalan dia memang kita nak cari uh, nak cari unknown displacement. Unknown displacement kita akan calculate from this equation. KD plus Q not, right? KD plus Q not. Okay. So... Q, Q in this case, dia 2, 2 degree of freedom only kat atas ni. 2 je kan? 2 degree of freedom only. So, dia 0. 
one and two representing moment at one, moment at two. There is no value. So it is zero. So yang ni kita akan plus K one 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 two two one two two only. So using using ah uh, yang tadi ni kan. So one 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 zero point eight. Nih one one zero point eight kan. One 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 point six. Tambah dua tu jadi two point two point four. So sini 2.4. Ini EI jangan lupa eh. EI. Okay. So next is 1, 2. 1, 2. Kat mana ada 1, 2? Dekat K2. Dekat K2 je kan? Okay. 1, 2 ada kat mana? 1, 2. 1, 2. Sini. 0.8. So dekat sini 0.8 lah. 0.8 0.8 Okay now dekat tu tu Okay tu tu kat mana? Tu tu is 1.6 Kan? 1.6 and tu tu is 0.8 2.4 lagi Okay 2.4 So sini 2.4 2.4. So label sini is 1 and 2. Kan? Okay. Yang ni times with D1 and D2. D1 and D2. But don't forget you have D7. You have D7. You have to. Okay. You have you have to plus with D7. So sini akan ada value. Times with D7. D7 tadi tu negative 0.005. This is D7. Means that kat sini 7 lah. Okay. Sini 7. So 7 maksudnya sini kat sini kan. Sini 1, 2 tau. Sini pun 1, 2. Kan. 1, 2. So find the value at position 1, 7. Or 7, 1. Sama value tu. Okay. So find the value from K1, K2, K3. Cari nilai 1, 7. Or 7, 1. 7, 1 mana? 7, 1, 1, 7. Sini tak ada 7, 1 right? Tak ada kan? 7, 1 sini ada? Tak ada. 7, 1 sini ada? Tak ada. Ha, patutnya tak boleh pilih uh, label tu lah. Normally saya akan check dululah yang mana yang ada efek baru kita masukkan lah. Tak apa tapi dia proses macam tu. So in this case yang ni kosong lah. Kosong. Kosong. Mungkin tak sesuai saya letak kat situ. Mungkin kena tukar jadi D5 ke. Tengok sekejap. Kalau 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 tukar jadi jadi tukar-tukar uh, tempat lah kan. Sini jadi D5. Sini jadi 5 lah. Ada value tak? Ada value tak? Ada kan? So tak nampak dia punya signifikan pula kan? So tukar sini uh, D uh, D5 eh? 5 kat mana 5? 5 dekat A, B, C, D uh, Dekat B Sini B eh? So saya tukar jadi B Okay? Tukar jadi B So dekat 5 lah. So kita ambil 5 Okay? So So Kita tukar from D7 to, to D5 Sebab D, uh, 1, 7 tu tak ada intersection So dia tak ada value Okay tengok D5 uh, D5 means kita kena cari value for 1, 5 or 5, 1 5, 1 Tengok dalam K1, K2, K3 1, 5 or 5, 1 Jumpa tak 5, 1 Jumpa tak 5, 1 uh, 5, 1 yang ni 5, 1 negative 0.24 Ada lagi 5, 1 Ada lagi 0.48 5, 1 Ada lagi? Tak ada dah Okay berapa? 0.24 0.24 So sini 0.24 Okay And now 5, 2 5, 2 That's why kena ingat dalam matrix in full tu Position ni kena tahu 5, 2 Cari mana dia 5, 2 What is the value for 5, 2 Okay, 5 tu ada 1 eh, 5 tu. 0 0.48. 0 0.48 eh, 5 tu eh. 5 tu 0 0.48. 
So this is 0 0.0.48. Okay. 0.48. Don't forget you have to plus with you have to plus with Q naught at position 1, position 2. Q naught tadi ni. Yang ni tadi ni. Yang ni tadi. Ada tak value 1 tu? 1 tu ada value tak? 1, 2. Okay, 31.25 and negative 31.25. So yang tu kena include sekali. Sini. 31.25 negative 31.25. So this is Q naught 1 and 2. Okay, this is the equation that you should, yang ni ada EI eh. Yang ni ada EI. Okay, this is the equation that you should solve. Yang ni. So ni equation ni yang you kena solve. And bila you solve ni, you akan dapat D1 and D2. D1 and D2. So, bila ada support settlement, you have to include this step. This is special for support settlement. Okay. So, without support settlement, tak adalah part tu eh. Because displacement zero. Sebab in the in the real condition, it is Q is Q. Kan real condition dia, it is Q is equal to KD plus Q naught. So KD ni, KD ni, yang ni kan 8 kali 8. Okay, 8 kali 8 kan. D pula 8 kali 1. So bila 8 kali 8, kali 8 kali 1 kita dapat? 8 kali 1. Okay, so, so, so Q kita ni, Q ni kan ada 8. Kan ada Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7, Q8. So kita produce Q3 sampai Q8 as unknown, unknown reaction. Okay, so solve yang ni dulu. You akan dapat uh, D1, D2 and then baru calculate objective number 2. Q3, Q, Q3 sampai Q8. Okay. So ada banyak video-video yang complete yang saya dah buat. So explain about this. Okay. Please tengok yang tu. If you uh, have question after watching all the video. So boleh. Boleh lah nak tanya ke nak request video ke apa ke. Okay. Boleh ya. Eh? Okay. So test tu saya dah marking dah. Uh, tinggal lagi 30 question tu. Yang lain saya dah marking. Uh, tapi very sad ramai yang tak tengok video lah Because kalau tengok video of course boleh buat I believe boleh buat Tapi ramai yang tak tengok video So ramai lah yang tak boleh buat Okay so thank you very much Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Esok uh,